services asked us to come up with a way of creating a soap that would have a high surface area. We created this dilution and hopefully it works, but it creates this wonderful foam that bar soap. Um, in addition to the liquid soap that we're making. This is a very nice soap. I think it's a very soft soap. One of the nice things about it is you can rub it around and you can really clean dirty areas up. So this soap that we're planning to use in food services uh, is actually made out of waste oil. The soap project began with David Keala who had um, the idea of using this leftover glycerol. Right. The leftover glycerol he was made aware of by um, HRI. HRI, uh, Hawaiian Reserves um, Incorporated. They in turn take that waste oil and they make biodiesel of that product. It would be something very sustainable for HRI. Uh, and it is, right? It's an opportunity for them to get diesel at a much cheaper price. Uh, a few months ago, I started talking with the science department on campus and asked them if they could take the glycerin from this waste oil and create soap for us. He contacted us to say, is there something, you know, is this a possibility in our lab or is there any way we could swing this in? Uh, yeah. The leadership process at BYU of Hawaii, the goal of the university is to develop leaders. And, you know, throughout this process, I've really seen you know, different traits develop. We started with this very small group of students, just a few people, and you know, through the through the transition, there have been more people, and as a result, you know, it requires leaders. These new students who come in who want to participate in this project, you know, instead of having them just sit down and read a protocol, it's a lot simpler to sit down and talk with them and ask them questions and you know, see what their opinions are on this and to, to go with it from there. Whenever you're in a research setting, you, you're working with a group of people and they always, they always have different perspectives, different ideas. There have been a few occasions where, where opinions differ and you know, the best way is to work it out. How all this ties into leadership training is that from an academic side, the students who are working on this project have a hands-on project to create a product. The context of this soap making process, right? Why is this important to helping us um, come closer to our Heavenly Father, helping students come closer to who they really are, understanding who they are. And it helps them in their gain hands-on experience and add something to their resume for leadership these types of opportunities that can lead to leadership. For us in food service, it's our student leaders who's helped us put together all these waste programs, working with our full-time staff. They have to do it every day so they can learn, and it applies to us as a leadership program as well. Good mentoring is obviously important wherever it is, but I think that the best mentoring is it, uh, setting them up with conditions that they can uh, take it and run themselves. Our next project from this is to name this product. So I'm working with the art department on campus to come up with a design and logo to help us name this product that we can actually market here in food services. <laughs>